Hello everyone and you're welcome. In our last lesson we had a quick introduction to Plotly and in this lesson what we're going to do is to install Plotly. So let me just quickly fire up the Anaconda Navigator environment and then from there we'll move on and see how we can install a copy of Plotly. So now that we've actually fired up our Anaconda, Anaconda Navigator environment, what I'm going to do is to use the command line to create our new environment. So if we actually check out our base root, which is this uh, base environment, I'm gonna click on environment. If we search for Plotly, we won't actually see Plotly installed. Now it's actually a bad practice to installed you know um, packages in your base root so what we're going to do is to create a new environment and then activate that environment then we can install our dependencies so i like to use the anaconda command prompt but you can use the command prompt or the powershell so to use the anaconda command prompt i'm just going to go to start and i'll just type anaconda prompt I think usually, uh, okay, uh, this is it, Anaconda prompt. And this should bring out the uh, Anaconda prompt for me. And what I'll do is to just increase the font size to say 24, so we can actually see this uh, clearly. So to create a new environment, what we're going to just say is Conda create. And then to set the name, we're gonna say dash dash name. And then we'll give that environment a name. So I'm just gonna call it Plotly. env which is going to be my plotly environment so if i uh, press return it's going to say uh, solving that environment and i'll get a warning here that there is a new version of conda i'm going to be updating but not now so if i want to proceed i'm just going to type y for proceeding so now it's going to tell me that uh, i have an environment called conda plotly env and to activate that environment let's just go ahead and say conda activate Plotly env. So, and just like that, we're in our Plotly environment that we've activated. Let's quickly head to our Anaconda Navigator and see if this environment called Plotly env exists. So I'm just gonna go back here and just right here where it says environments, I can actually see Plotly env right now if i want to set this environment i'll just go ahead and click on this and it should set this as the active environment so let's go back and see how we can install our other dependencies we need so whenever we create a new environment let's just uh, quickly go back here whenever we create a new environment if i get back to home you can see we have the notebook lab and all these other uh, you know programs in our environment is going to be empty so we need to reinstall these new environments. So the first thing I'm going to do is to install NumPy. So just right there, I'm just going to say Conda install Jupyter Notebook, just like that. And I'll just wait for that to uh, uh, run. Once it's done, we'll continue and then install Plotly in that same environment. So once Jupyter Notebook has, uh, uh, once it has popped up, it's gonna tell you the new packages will be installed. So I'm just going to install, uh, press yes, and install this version of Notebook. So I'm just gonna say proceed yes, and press return. All right. So now that we've installed Jupyter Notebook, let's go ahead and install Plotly. And to do that, we're just gonna say conda, and type the space bar, and let's say install, and I'll just say Plotly. And the version I want to install is the 12. So I'm just going to say version 4.12.0. And let's just enter and press the return key so we can actually install Plotly. Now, sometimes I realize it might actually fail when you try to uh, run that uh, version. So let's just do a conda install Plotly, and let's just see this. All 
and so it says the following packages will be downloaded so it says they're probably version 4.11.0 i think the version 12 is still in development as that we do this so i think most likely that's why i couldn't find that on the uh, package and you can even try pip install but uh, we're just going to use this uh, package for plotly and i'll just type y and then press return key and then once that's uh, completely installed we'll just go ahead and move on okay guys so now that we've had plotly installed another important dependency we're going to install is the Kalido. so let's go ahead and install Kalido. so i'm just going to say conda install plotly python dash Kalido. Now let's just go ahead and run that. I think it's we can do a P, uh, conda install Kalido, but let's just go ahead and see that. So uh, we can actually it, it can actually find that. So I think it must be uh, kind of like something wrong with the way I typed the package. But let's try conda install Kalido. So I'll just go ahead and say conda install Kalido, just like that. All right, so we haven't still having problems and let's do a conda, let's say a conda dash C plotly Python dash Kaleido, just like that, Kaleido. So let's go ahead and see that. So let's go ahead and quickly check the uh, installation for Kalido and we'll get back. Hello guys, so I quickly went to uh, pypy.org and searched for Kalido and it says pip install Kalido. I think I must be typing the syntax wrong in the Anaconda prompt, but let me try pip install Kalido and see if that uh, actually works. So we can either use conda or PIP. So right now I'm just going to try PIP because I checked pypy.org and it says we can install Kalido using uh, uh, PIP install Kalido. And let me just go ahead and check my spelling and make sure that uh, Kalido is uh, correct. So I'll just wait for it. And okay, we have uh, Kalido being installed right now and it's about uh, 50 NB. So uh, I'll just do a little quick research and debug and see why when we tried using conda install Kalido, we weren't getting any, uh, we didn't get any response, but I, uh, I think I must have installed it uh, last time using uh, that interface. So uh, if in case conda install Kalido works for you, that's super fine. But if it doesn't, you can quickly switch to uh, PIP install Kalido. So that's why we have uh, two uh, versions. So if I go ahead and check the slide, let me just go ahead and quickly pop up the slide right here where we uh, did the installation for the Kalido. So I think this works, right? This works, we've tried this one now, but I think trying conda install plotly Python Kalido doesn't work, but I'll go ahead and check out why that is and I'll leave that in the comment. But please, if it works for you, just let me know so I can totally understand uh, why that happened. So uh, yeah. So we've actually uh, installed Kalido and we actually have Kalido right now. Remember, Kalido is uh, very important because we're going to use it to uh, display uh, images. So let's go ahead and install Plotly Geo. So I'll just do a PIP install plotly-geo and for that version I'll do the version 1.0.0 and hopefully this should work without uh, uh, okay good so we actually have a problem right now it's a double equals I think it's a equal sign if I want a specific version not one equality sign so that errors for me sorry about that guys and we actually have uh, plotly-geo so Kalido is going to allow you to export uh, images. So you can like export SVG, PNG, JPEG. That's it's, it's just for image and SVG uh, support. And then the geo package is going to allow you to work 
much more better with the geographic plots like the color play maps world maps and all that uh, information so uh, with this I think we've installed all the basic dependencies we want but another thing is to also install pandas since we're going to be working with uh, data frames so I'll just do a conda install pandas so we can actually have uh, pandas and this will give us the option to use the uh, pandas uh, data frame right so it's going to tell me i'm going to use this so uh, i'll just say yes and the good thing is it's going to also install uh, numpy and then with that let's just go ahead and say uh, yes so we can actually install that version of uh, numpy another thing we'd like to do is to also have uh, access to Excel files to be able to read Excel files. So we also need to do a uh, pip or conda install XLRD. Since we're going to be working with uh, data frames, it's also important for us to uh, kind of like work with Excel files so we can actually have access to those uh, files. So, uh, yeah, so I'll just go ahead and quickly pause the video and then we'll uh, quickly work and move on. All right, so now that we've done uh, installing the uh, pandas package, let's go ahead and just quickly do the XLRD. So I'll do the uh, pip install XLRD just to have access to uh, Excel files and to be able to, you know, work with them with pandas smoothly in Jupyter uh, Notebook. And this has also uh, successfully uh, installed. So what we're going to do right now is to jump back to our Anaconda Navigator and then let's set this uh, Plotly environment as our main environment. So once you click on it, you should see this uh, arrow uh, right here and it's going to just uh, load the packages we have in that specific environment such that when we get back to our home menu, we should be able to see Jupyter Notebook and if we launch it, we can test to see if we have those packages installed. So right after we run this and we've set that environment and have this green arrow, it means we're this is the environment we're going to be working on. So if we get back to our uh, home view, we can actually see we have a Jupyter Notebook installed in that specific environment. And if you just go here and search for, let's say, uh, Plotly, we can see we have Plotly version 4.11. We can see also we have uh, Plotly Geo version 1.0 like we uh, installed. Let's see if the uh, pandas package is there. We have our pandas. Let's see we, if we have uh, NumPy, we have NumPy. So it's the same process we're going to do to install any other package we want specifically for this environment. For instance, if we're gonna be working with scikit-learn, we could just install scikit-learn once we've set this environment and activated this uh, environment path. And then to also do a quick test, let's just get back to the home menu and then just click on launch. And this should launch up a version of Jupyter Notebook that runs on the specific environment called the Plotly environment, which we've uh, created. So uh, in our next lesson, we're just going to do a quick run and test out our first Plotly code. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next lesson.